Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, it's me, GM Toots, and it's been a while since I made another video. I think it's been a year since I didn't make another video, and yeah, I am very sorry for this. Um, no, I'm to those who subscribe me, to those who, who, to those who been waiting for another part parts of Clash of Clans 2 D. I am very sorry for the wait but yeah for now i think i'm still planning on how to you know on how to get it all back you know because uh, it's been a year since since i didn't make a video because i am too busy of stuff and i don't have a proper equipment to record that's why i didn't i didn't make another video and i'm very sorry about that and for m okay so let's go for you know things so for our return video um, I'm going to show you how to make experiences using game maker studio um, I'm going to make this um, in a simple way you know for you know for games and stuff um, you know for for those who who's been commenting me in this past few months saying that how about the game maker you know the game maker parts and the things blah 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 um, um, I'm going to plan I'm going to plan soon as possible and, and I'm going to bring bring the tutorials back um, of course I'm going to record a lot today and, and it's for you guys so I'm going to to you know to imp to improve also the t tutorials you know um, all those you know the barracks thing in the clash of plans of course and I'm going to share share more videos for you guys because um, you know guys um, Thank you so much for w for 163 subscribers because I think that's my current subs and thank you thank you thank you for that um, it really means to me and for that um, let's do this so yeah so first of all this is the XP tutorial or the experience points so in the game um, f most of the games have the experience points and I'm going to show you my way on how to create create experiences um, there are lots of tutorials out there you know showing about the experiences but here for my tutorial I'm going to make this as simple as possible so you can guys understand so okay let's write into it so let's first of all let's create an object here um, let's say OBJ experience and here we're going to add an event called the create um, yeah actually in this time um i'm using game maker studio 2 right i mean f this is my like my first week of using it um because i've been using game maker studio 1 you know in the past if you've seen the tutorials yeah until until last year i'm using game maker studio 1 and for and this is my first week of using game maker studio 2 so yeah things are changing yeah and i'm you know i'm adjust adjusting about this <laughs> so here in the object experience here we're going to create um, the variable called the experience point is equal to zero so here in the experience point yeah y the XP's and everything mm, here here you know when we collect you know when we collect experience points like in minecraft and if we kill enemies we we increase points we get points we gain and that's and that's the variable and that's what I'm calling this variable so here we're going going to do experience point limit is equal to 150 so why did I say 150 because if of course in some of the games there's always a limit like in level 1 you have to reach 150 points to to increase to the next level and then and that's the reason why we have a limit because to determine to determine how much point you will get if you want to go to the next level and and for that we're going to inc we're going to call another variable create a variable called the experience level which is one so so we have these three important important variables here the point the limit and the level so so here after that you go to the step event here get rid of that uh, we're going to put if so here is the let's do the experience system 
we're going to do the system right here. So if ex experience experience uh, experience point is greater or equal to experience experience point limit. So here we're going to do if you know if if our point is greater or equal to the, our point limit let's say my my level point I, the my experience point is 150 or 151 and that's we're going to increase our level experience level plus e let's do plus plus and, and let's do the increment method and and if that we're going also to increase you know I mean we're going to increase yeah we're going to increase our limit by 150 so so by that if we if we go to the next level of course our limit will increase so if we want to test it let's go for it. if keyboard check press VK space and let's do um, experience point plus equals to 10 so if we press our space we'll increase the point yeah that's for testing purposes okay so we will create a room here and yeah let's do the room and if we're going to drag the object experience right here right here in the very top but you can put it whatever you like here so we're done by that and we're going to go to draw GUI because we're going to you know we're going to put text there the strings for our experience so we can determine what level are we now so we're going to draw text oops draw text 0 comma 0 comma string string um, experience level oh go put the two co quotation marks and we're going to put level and like that and draw text um, 0 comma 16 we're going to put XP and plus string experience point our current point plus slash plus string oops oops string experience point limit um, what we're doing here is is we put the experience then over our limit which is the total or the required required points so here um, what it, what I did here is you know to put spacing in the y-axis so if we run that so as you can see you, you have our current level level 1 and our XP is 0 but if I press space and it increases so we do that one two three four and as you can see if we increase our level there you go it inc it also increases the point limit the experience point limit and if we go further well that's going to be infinite so that works so how about how about if I say I want to I want that you know if I reach level 10 I really need to you know I really need to increase the limit so that it's more challenging you know making the players you know go play more to increase the level so by that we're going to do here so if experience level is greater or equal to 1 and experience experience level is less than or equal to 9 what what did we do here is in he, in this statement experience level is greater or equal to 1 so for example if we you know if we imagine it if i if my level is is level 1 and above and level or level 9 and below the limit the limit word that we're going to add is only 150 but we're going to copy that and if we increase 10 and 19 so what if what if I reach level 10 and, and above 
that that's if we're going to increase our point limit that makes 300 making it more harder to to level up yeah. that makes it more challenging so let's test it out as you see right here we're going to space 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 we're going to space okay Actually, we're going to do keyboard check because, <laughs> because that's too many levels. So I can hold the space. Okay, right here. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Still 150. We're going the limit. And there you go. If we reach the level 10, as you can see, it reaches to 300. So if we, it was. There you go. It adds another 300 to the limit making it more harder so so now we have our limit you know limit increasing method if you you can you can edit this you know you can make it more harder let's copy let's copy more let's make it 20 to 29 and there you go 30 and 40 and 49 and 50 to 59 so let's do here we get we get 500 here we get 1000 1000 1500 and then 2000 let's see that makes it more challenging you know and there you go we're increasing we're increasing we're increasing it as you can see the more the greater and there you go in we're we're level 20 we will see that it will increase to 500 so supposed to be this is 5350 once once we level up see uh, and that's will be you know that's that's will happen also when we reach to level 30 here we go that makes it 10000 it increases to 1000 and all this stuff however what we did here there's some bug and I'm going to show you what it is so we're increasing the level we're increasing the level yeah with 2000 that's too much you know and there you go why the level is increasing itself and the limit is not increasing also and that's because we don't have the statement for greater than greater than the number we've selected because on the only statement that we did here on is only until level 59 what if what if we wanted to you know what if what if level 60 is our last level like that's the last level that we will increase the point limit so what we what we're going to do here is copy another one and you know erase that and go for 60 and what if what if I you know what if I reach level 60 and above and and I want that to be the last level and make it that 2500 and we're going to do 1000 so we can get to it so once we run it that <laughs> that's level 53 and there you go that fixes the bug and and by that until we reach level level 100 and so forth that's infinite and that's and that's one way and that's the way to fix the bug and that's it as you can see we reach we reach the le you know the the certain level we want and the limit is still it's still the same you know it adds 2500 to the cur to the current point limit there you go now you have your own experience levels so that's the basic stuff so so here is the basic experience system hope you guys like it um thank you so much again thank you so much for sticking by and watching my videos again um i promise that i will make more videos for you guys the tutorials i'm going to plan plan as soon as possible so thank you guys so much hope you guys like it if you guys like it please press the like button and if you have you know problems with the video or anything or anything you want to say please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and i really miss you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the another video